lacase-based electrochemical biosensor as an alternative for polyphenols determination in queens extracts. During the production of queens jam, significant waste is generated, including peel, skin, and seeds. Queens is rich in bioactive compounds such as polyphenols, which are of interest due to their antioxidant and antimicrobial properties. Currently, conventional extraction techniques have drawbacks such as prolonged extraction times and the need of organic solvents. Therefore, alternative environmentally friendly methods are being sought to avoid or reduce the use of organic solvents. Additionally, new methods for quantifying total polyphenols content are needed to overcome the disadvantages of the traditional falling chocolate essay and to avoid the use of complex instruments with high organic solvent consumption as in the chromatographic techniques. We propose an electrochemical biosensor based on enzyme lacase and carbon nanotubes as an alternative to total polyphenols content quantification to evaluate the efficiency of eco-friendly extraction methods of polyphenols in queens extracts. The enzyme lacase catalyzes the oxidation of polyphenolic compounds. Queens extracts were obtained from residues of the industrial production of queen sham using a traditional method by ultrasonic treatment in methanol water in acid medium and hydrothermal treatments using water or water with citric acid, avoiding the use of organic solvents. Subsequently, the polyphenols content in the extract was determined by conventional techniques and using the developed lacase biosensor. Carbon nanotubes functionalized with 4 amino benzoic acid diazonium salt were used to construct an electrochemical biosensor, forming an organic multilayer exposing carboxylic groups on the nanomaterial surface. Stable dispersions of these modified nanotubes were prepared in ethanol water via sonication and centrifugation, and very stable dispersions over time were obtained. Classic carbon electrodes were then coated with dispersion and lacase was absorbed onto the surface for one hour while preventing solvent evaporation. The quantification of polyphenolic substrates was performed by chronoamperometry, where a suitable constant potential is applied and the changing current due to the electrochemical reduction of the quinone formed as a product of the enzymatic reaction was recorded over time. From the amperometric response, a calibration curve was obtained. In the scheme, it is shown with gallic acid because it is the most commonly used standard compound for the determination of polyphenols in different samples. The total polyphenol content in the Queen's extract studied was determined using the standard addition method with gallic acid as a standard. The figure at right shows the calibration plot of the samples obtained with the three different extraction methods. As shown in the table, a similar total polyphenol content was determined for the three samples, indicating that the three extraction methods allow for obtaining similar amounts of polyphenolic compounds. The results obtained with the biosensor were confirmed by chromatography uahplc -MS -MS, where the analysis revealed similar majority compound profiles. In contrast, the following methods yield different results between samples and with the biosensor. For the extracts obtained with methanol water mixture or water, a high correlation was observed. However, for the extract obtained with citric acid, a significant difference was showed, which may be due to the interference of citric acid in the following essay. In conclusion, an eco-sustainable method for extracting polyphenols from industrial queen's waste was achieved with the same efficiency as traditional methods. A simple and cost-effective methodology was developed for quantifying total polyphenols in extracts using an electrochemical biosensor based on lacase and functionalized carbon nanotubes, which proved to be specific for polyphenols avoiding interferences. Although the biosensor does not allow for compound identification, it provides results consistent with those obtained by chromatography, making it a useful alternative for quantifying total polyphenols in complex samples. Thanks for your attention.